Hello boys and girls. Okay, it's Mike Kelly again with another quick, very quick tutorial. Uh, somebody was asking about getting uh, getting dad's clothing to conform properly. It was poking through and they said, well, maybe it's because, you know, it's a bikini and sports bra or something. Well, here's here's a case where, you know, the default project in uh, Character Creator 3 is a, is a bikini. You know, it's not a sports bra, but it's a bikini. And it conforms fine. So... Uh, there really is no problem getting the DAS clothing to conform. And matter of fact, it's, it's fairly easy as long as you follow the rules. And I kind of laid this out last time. But here's, um, I'm going to do a, 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 this is a Gen 8 uh, character that I uh, created in DAS and loaded in a, a, a bra and panties on. I don't know if they're sports bra and panties, but whatever. They're bra and panties, so they're very close fitting. And so we're going to load those in just for the basic one. I just want to get the basics in here. I want to show you what you have to do. So here it is. Sports bra, very, very tight fitting. You can see this is like just right up against the skin. You can't really get much tighter than that. Um, and, you know, it looks good. But uh, so when, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't interpenetrate here. But when we go to pose it, when we go and we'll uh, try like a pose here. Like, like this is an extreme reclining floor pose. When we go to pose it, you can see that uh, the material pokes through, okay? <laughs> that doesn't look good. I mean, it looks good from one standpoint, but it does, it's not the way we want it. So, so how do we prevent that? Well, as I told you in the other video, with all Daz clothing, you have to transfer the skin weights. Right now, this feature really doesn't work automatically, um, so you have to do this. So you always have to apply some template to transfer the weights. Now... Uh, there isn't a specific template for this. There is for dresses, gloves, shoes, hair, cloak, other. Uh, but you, the default works for most other stuff. So you always start off with that. If for some reason the default doesn't work, what you want to do is try to find clothing that does work. And then you can actually save that out. So you can save it as a file, the CC cloth file, and apply that. And in this particular case, it would have been easy to use the clothing that works inside of uh, CC3. But... But the, the default works fine, so we're going to apply that, and you can see immediately that it that it looks a ton better. Um, and that's, you know, so that's, you can see there's still a little bit of problem there, but we're going to address that in a second. But this, this works a lot better. So we're going to click on the bra, same thing. We're going to go and transfer skin weights, and we're going to use the default, as always. And there we go. So again... We've, we've fixed most of the problems, but there's still a little bit of problem. Well, that's because we always got to do a conform. You always have to do a conform after you transfer the skin weights. Very important to do it afterwards. Uh, conforming without transferring the skin weights isn't going to do you any good because it hasn't got the proper weighting on those things. So, uh, so we'll do the same on here. We'll do a conform and, and do that. And, and so that's really all you have to do. There isn't a whole lot to it. Uh, now when we go to any of these other positions... Um, it's it's going to conform perfectly and, and match perfectly, and there's and there's no other problems to it. Uh, it's really just a matter of uh, doing those two things. I, I'm not saying that all clothing is going to work perfectly. Sometimes clothing is, is designed. See, this is even working through all that. Look at that. Look at that close thing. No no poke through or penetration. I'm not going to say that this is going to be perfect for you. There will be times, with, particularly with extreme poses, and these are all very extreme poses. When you may get some poke through, uh, in those particular cases, you can always go to um, down here to the cloth layer settings and run the auto hide. This has some success. What it does is it hides the the mesh that's underneath the the uh, clothing. Um, it's okay. I've had mixed results with this, but it's another option. You can you can do that one. But in general, if you just run those two things, transfer the clothing weights and run and run the conform, uh, then then you'll be fine. So. That's basically all there is to it, guys. I hope this helps. And if you have any other questions, make sure you ask me on the tutorials, and I'll try to do my best to get to them.